I just thought that I would take a few minutes to record a uh, introduction preamble to this set of videos. I'm going to uh, do some voiceovers this time because there's a lot of information there and uh, it's going to come out better if I just uh, narrate some of it. The other thing is, is I'm going to split this up into probably three parts. The first part is actually ordering the frugal vacuum chuck, getting it taking it out of the box, assembling it, figuring out how I'm going to mount it, what I'm going to mount it on, and getting it ready to put on the lathe. The second part will be actually putting it on the lathe, doing some troubleshooting to make sure that it's working right, and then part three will be some demos of some of the pieces that I put on the vacuum chuck and some of the problems I ran into and what I found. I hope you find this informative. Uh, if you have any questions, please fill them out. Uh, it's been a while since I've posted anything up on YouTube, but uh, my computer is back to uh, working right. All of my uh, video cameras and other recording things are working correctly, and uh, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this. If you have something else that you'd like to ask about, please do. Thank you. Enjoy the videos. Okay, we're back in the shop. We are working on our vacuum pump system. I've reread the instructions several times and everything else, and I pretty much figured out the steps that I need to do to do this. So, this bag right here is the bag full of all the miscellaneous parts that comes with it to help set up and put the vacuum pump and the hose and everything else together. This is the vacuum gauge. This is our rod that's going to go into the through the headstock with an extension on it at the moment. There's some fitting that will have to be done with this and some checking on this. We have some of the foam pads and everything that we talked about that we would need. We have the wire grate for the fans. This is um, this is the muffler. This is a piece of uh, just stock wood that the uh, the four by four uh, or the four inch vacuum uh, collar will go on. And the thing I want to point out about this is these two pieces right here along with the foam padding and the other things like that are going to get set off to the side because we're going to do them last. What we need to do is, is make this thing work. So one of the things we have to decide before we get started here is how are we going to mount this? What are we going to put it on? Is it going to be in a uh, some type of a box, not a cardboard box, but some type of a box? Is it going to be in a two right angle uh, pieces of plywood. It's likely to be on that. But I saw several vacuum systems a few weeks ago at the East Texas Wood Turners meeting. This is going to be my tool of choice. Now I will, will put a piece of wood on it that the pump mounts to and it'll mount to the bottom plate and then I will also take a piece of wood and attach it here to run up on the inside of this piece of plywood, maybe, so that I have a backer board that I can mount my power strip to. I can mount some hoses, I can mount some extension cords and some other things, and then I can just wheel this to where I need to wheel it to. 
So that's the first decision we've made on this, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, back from a little sawing. So what I've done is I've found my hand truck, taking measurements. I've run the board 25 inches up from the bottom, across both ways, cut out the foot over the bottom of it so it'll sit right there. I will screw this to this so it's stable on the back of the uh, hand truck. There are some uh, support braces with holes in it so uh, I'll probably put some type of a bolt in it come through here so it's bolted on nice and solid but that's going to be my uh, work surface pump will mount right there gauges, hoses, power strip, other things will mount up on the top. This is my, uh, I really like this. This is a right angle power strip that so gives me uh, three strips on this side, three strips on this side, plus an on off switch. And I can mount it right here on the top corner. What we're doing now is we're assembling the basic pieces of the vacuum pump. It comes just as it was uh, remanufactured. It has open fan blades on each end. Need to put in the four feet that go on the bottom first. They already have screws. Put the screws in the feet. Put the screws in the feet on the bottom of the pump. Nothing magic about this at all. There's some hardware cloth. It's wire hardware cloth that goes on each end to protect fingers pieces of wood chips, other things like this from going in to either fan that's on either end. So you need to uh, work to put those on. You use four very small tie wraps on each end as you're putting this together and uh, make sure that all of the exposed ends of the hardware cloth are bent under so that you don't get stuck. Okay, hardware cloth is on both ends. It went on with uh, smaller size uh, tie wraps. And uh, again, if you're going to put this on here, uh, there are some sharp edges you need to watch for. Uh, but the main thing is to keep little fingers and pieces and other things from, uh, from going in there. We're now going to assemble the rest of the uh, pieces and put that on the... Uh, plywood backer board. When you put your Teflon tape around the fittings, make sure that none of the tape goes inside. The airflow filter has a mark embossed on the side of it. Make sure that the airflow is going the right direction. There's a section of uh, bright pink orange hose that comes with this. If you want to get more of that hose, you can get the same hose at Harbor Freight. Just go over there, look, match up the hose. You can have the same one. You don't need a real long piece. It comes off of the uh, vacuum side of the pump, but you just need uh, to connect that up. And then a piece that's going to go from the top of the filter up and mount up with a clamp on the uh, backer board itself that's on the hand truck. So uh, at this point in time, it's, uh, it's pretty much ready to start mounting it and putting it on the hand truck with the plywood braces uh, that I've installed with them and uh, connect up the rest of the hoses and uh, go from there. All right, now I can uh, 
now I can see what I'm doing and see where I want to place my gauges and everything. For this is the uh, this is what I'm looking at coming out of out of the air filter hose coming down and around up to here to the vacuum gauge through a T T here down to a valve up to a hose thank you very much now the muffler assembly that goes on this is a pretty straightforward deal it is simply a short piece of about one inch one and a half inch PVC tubing it comes off that it gets the air through about half of this but uh, I turn it on getting 25 inches of vacuum. <laughs> 25 inches of vacuum should be enough. So I am going to need, I also do not have a fitting for this. So I'm guessing I got some more parts here somewhere that I just don't know where they're at at the moment. Problem for another day. Well, I finally got the right pieces that I needed to put on my gauge and my valve. What I wound up having to do is the thing that I should have done in the first place. And that's simply take one or more of the parts with me down to the hardware store. And I wound up going to the local Ace True Value hardware store instead of Home or Lo Home Depot or Lowe's because the local place had a much better selection, categorized better. And uh, anyway, I got the fitting and I got it on there. It's not a bar fitting, but it's a twist on fitting. So what I'm going to do when I hook this thing up is, is I'm going to put the hose on like that and I will just turn it on like that and I'll get a good seal okay everything is mounted and we're going to do a, a smoke test to see how this works so I've zoomed in uh, down below the vacuum pump itself what I did is I put a uh, pipe clamp screwed it to the base which is screwed to the overall uh, hand truck and then run a uh, triple tie wrap through there and tie that down and so it's going to uh, sit there there's also one there's also another clamp that's behind here so this thing sits really steady on there doesn't put a lot of pressure on one or the other the pressure is is distributed so you move the camera, get a better shot here of the entire system, and uh, get myself a pointer. So we have the airflow filter up here. I, I'll just make a mention of something. The picture shows the airflow filter mounted the other way but it's got an arrow on it of which way the air flows since it's a vacuum the air is flowing this way and the arrow is pointed in that direction so pay attention when you put yours together it goes up here to a T which is provided to the fittings that I found uh, I wanted to improve these fittings a little bit and the vacuum meter it goes over here to a T the purpose of this handle is simply to release vacuum pressure. So if you're mounting a bowl or a piece or whatever and you want to move it just a little bit, you can reduce 
the amount of vacuum by opening this valve and then you would be able to move your piece around. Normally it would sit at right angles like that. Vacuum meter is going to show you what you're pulling. This is the right angle power strip. I decided I wanted a power strip here for several different reasons. I also have a 15 foot extension cord that's going to go with this but uh, that's just there so that uh, if, if I'm not close enough to a uh, plug, because this has only got a six foot, six foot line on the back of it. And then I have my hose, which is going to go to the lathe. And right now, I should have enough hose on there to be able to put that behind my lathe and be able to hook it up. So we'll show that. So let's do a, uh, let's do a test. I have the, it's, although it's got a switch that comes, with the electric cord that's on there. I just folded up this wire, put it on there, held it with two tie wraps so it doesn't get in the way. And my on off is right here. I'm going to turn it on, plug up the end, 25 inches of vacuum. One moment. Close off the fitting. 25 inches of vacuum. That's pretty good. If I wanted to adjust the bowl, I could open that up and lower the vacuum. Lower it a little bit more. Things working good. Down here in the muffler, it's just a piece of rag. It's just a piece of rag that's stuck in there to to cut down on the noise and uh, keep anything uh, dust or anything else from flying in there. Everything looks good. I'm real happy with it.